On today's video, I'm gonna show you five really great Webflow websites that are gonna expand your mind on what's possible using Webflow. Stay tuned. Hey friends, what's up? My name is Ron Segal. If this is your first time in Flux, then welcome. This is a channel where we talk everything web design and freelance. And if you've been watching the channel before, you know how excited I always am about Webflow because I really feel it empowers designers to build stuff themselves that was just previously impossible for them. And that's why I'm actually a little bit pissed when people actually refer to Webflow as a website builder, because I think it's actually so much more. And let's dive into it and I'll show you. The first example that I wanna show you is actually Apple's website for the iPhone 12. So this is actually a rebuild that was created by a guy named Moritz and he made this into an open clonable website. So you can actually see how he built everything here. And this just basically demonstrates how easy it is to build Apple quality websites within Webflow because basically at the end of the day, what Apple does in all of its, you know, all of its website is very, very simple. They're creating really wonderful product shots, they're animating them, and then you can bring it into something like Webflow, really easily animate them using something like Lodi, you know, um, for the text, sliding it in and out, you know, rewinding the animation based on your scroll position, very easy to do with Lodi. And uh, yeah, this is really great example. Again, you can dive into this project and really see how he've built this and how this is actually not that complicated to build within Webflow. So we'll put the link below this video if you wanna explore the iPhone website within um, Webflow itself. The second project that I wanna show you is this project. This is also kind of a rebuild of the game civilization. And this was created by Sarkis. He's the master of creating full live prototypes within Webflow. So check this out. He built, actually built the whole game experience of civilization within Webflow. Now, the point of this is just to show you how far you can take prototyping because a lot of people think about Webflow in just in terms of, hey, let's build a website. But because this is actually, you know, a, a visual development platform, you can actually you know, do whatever you want. You can prototype full on games or product. And this is so valuable to clients that before they would have to either just, you know, rely on a prototype that, you know, just moves screen in something like Figma, or they would have to pay developers so much money and time and effort to get a demonstration of something like this, including all of the interaction and experience and depth of this prototype. So this is also an open project. Again, let me close this because it's probably the memory on my computer here. This is also a project that you can dive into and see how we've built everything in Webflow. And I think Sarkis is also kind of branding himself as the person that can build fully functional MVPs within Webflow. And I think this is really incredible and valuable for a lot of clients. The next website that I wanna show you is this Italian furniture website. To be honest, I hope this this passes through the screen recording because the screen recording kind of shuts down the smoothness and the scroll of this website, which is really, really nice. All the nice little interactions, all the parallax movements that go through this website. And this is really just a great example that great typography with great imagery, you don't really need much more. But with Webflow, you can create all of those tiny interactions that add a lot of the premium feel into this, um, which probably you could not do all of these nicely animation with, with anything else. So this is really, really cool, right? The, the way that the text moves, the way that, you know, this project changes color and also gets the uh, blend mode to be, you know, the opposite color here. So it's not just changing color note here. Here it's black and here it's white. So this is really, really intricate and beautifully done. This was designed by uh, Joe Moore, which basically I think we've covered, you know, his, pro uh, his portfolio in the past because I definitely remember these interaction, but really, really nice design from him on this Italian website. The next website that I wanna show you is this one, Kubo. This is actually an e-commerce website. Also feels very, very premium, also nice interaction. Obviously with some, something like e-commerce, a lot of the attention 
goes into the product shot. And here there's just really fantastic art direction, but also the interaction, the scrolling into all of these nice animation really add to the brand. Now, usually when people talk to me about, you know, Webflow e-commerce, should they build on it? Well, yeah, it's not as powerful as something like Shopify, but when you're building a premium brand like this one, which is obviously premium, then the value of having the ability to create all of these custom layouts and custom interaction is worth to them because they want to position themselves as premium and using this tool and all of these animation and interactions allow them to position themselves as premium and then charge pricing accordingly. So I really, really like how they've used it for this website. And this was built by a French designer, Arnold. Arnold, I'm probably mispronouncing your name, sorry. Um, really well done. The last website that I wanna show you is this one from Oreo. And I just love how they created all of this fun and playful interaction here. You can see it as I'm moving my mouth, the cookies kind of relate to it or we react to it. And again, very great art direction. I think something that goes back in all of the website, you see that it's not just about, you know, how the, the interactions are set up. It's a lot about what assets are you using? What are the color palettes and typography that you're using? And here they're making really nice, nice uh, interaction and playful animation by using these great kind of uh, photography and all of this kind of milk that was created to create this Wi-Fi effect. So I really like how they've, you know, created all of these interaction and great fun experience as you scroll through the website. Here we have this playful that is actually going through up and down on the wave. This is probably done with, again, SVG animation, was created probably with After Effect and animated with Lodi a really, really great work on this website as well. Well, I hope this video inspired you to take action and dive into Webflow and expand what's possible within it. I'm always excited. If you're still not sure about whether you should get into Webflow, we do have a full on one hour lecture where I share how Webflow changed my life. So make sure to check below the description and see the impact that it has created for my business, which is why we teach it to our students nowadays. We'll see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.